so I am once again really sorry this video has no festive backdrop I am filming a couple more videos this week so I promise I'll be bunting it's just it fell down and I've been so super busy but I've needed to film these two videos I have just filmed my one another collab with Libby because this video is also a collab with Libby um but just don't mind my mum talking in the background um but i've just unwrapped our swap that she sent me and i am so thrilled with everything head on over to that video if you haven't watched already it'll be linked in the description but this is a unboxing of a haul um i went on fragrance direct thanks to libby she recommended it and oh my god did i get some good things some of these might end up being christmas presents but yeah, Fr Fragrance Direct just sells cheaper products um, than their retail price. They sell W7, Rimmel, Bourgeois Technic. Um, they also sell like obviously fragrances, skincare, hair care, all sorts. So there's pretty much something on there for everyone. There's always offers on. It's just crazy. So I ordered mine last weekend and I am so buzzing to try this. Once again, a running theme with mine and Libby's videos that collaborated together. We did try to do a 20 budget, 20 pound budget and I did exceed it a little bit by five pounds but one pound of that was shipping so yeah but i'm gonna crack on open to this box because i am so excited and quite frankly i need, need to take a thumbnail vid picture for this video with this open well they don't really wrap it that well i've never ordered a fragrance direct before okay so they literally the only thing they put in here okay this is all wrapped up everything in here is all wrapped up but then the palettes, which I think are probably more risky of smashing, haven't been wrapped. And that's all that's in there. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That's a bit disappointing, the fact that they don't really wrap anything up that well. But hey-ho, I'm still staying open-minded. So this is how it looks inside. But do you know what I mean? So these are the palettes on top, the things that are probably the most liable to break. And then you've got everything in there. But I'm still excited to try the makeup out. So we're just going to get on into it. First thing on here, and I'm going to get the invoice and i can tell you exactly how much everything was um okay no i can't because the invoice doesn't say how much these products were but i've got nine things in here um but everything i think was under five pounds which is incredible so the first thing is technic and this is a palette this is the pro finish eyeshadow palette and it's formulated without doubt blendable highly pigmented and long lasting formulation and this is in the shade hidden treasures now i just loved the look of this palette you've got some really lovely metallic shimmer shades and just some really overall and when libby told me about fragrance direct i was like oh yeah i'll have a look and they have this and i'm so excited by it it's quite bulky but those are the colors you have so you have like a row you've got in here you've got one two three four five six seven eight mattes and then you've got like some glittery sort of looking formulated eyeshadows and then a whole, pretty much a whole row by two of metallics. And they've all got like hashtag numbers on. And I'm so excited to try this. Now first impression swatches. Oh, they're very soft. Oh, that looks nice. Let's do that one. Okay, that one doesn't look so good. Okay, it does after I go in it for a second time. I'm gonna go for a matte. Oh, that looks quite nice. You can go for a shimmery. Yeah, you can tell that's like a glittery formulated one because it's quite gritty. Um, you can feel like the glitter. So, oh, that is really nice. Sorry, I've got loads of swatches from my previous video. Oh, that gold is so pigmented. Oh my goodness. So is that colour. Look at that. That glittery one isn't too pigmented, so maybe I'll need a makeup wipe. Or like, um, I'll need a makeup wipe in a minute, but like some like a damp brush but so far that gives me high hopes like that shade here is so pigmented i've cleaned my hands and next up is also technic and this is this gorgeous palette and i think this was something crazy like only two or three ninety nine. Um, and i've heard great things and you get this is in the shade the heat is on and how many eyeshadows do you get 24 24 shadows for like 3.99 you know and olivia um now olivia bowen um did an instagram makeup video tutorial um with one of these palettes i love my eyeshadows i love my warm tones oh look at them they look so so nice um it's a suitable for vegetarians against animal testing um so if, in case anyone was wondering so let's swatch the mats oh and that's an orangey shimmer swatch of bronze um, 
and let's swatch. Look at that. That is insane. You guys. Oh. Okay. You need to hop onto Fragrance Direct and get this eyeshadow palette. Holy smokes. That. And yes, I just said that, but I'm blown away. What the heck? Oh my good gracious. Okay. All right, Technic. I didn't think you were that good of a brand from what I heard about you, but you know what? Judge the peak brands and people and everything in life for yourself because this palette. Let me just watch this one. Come on. That is that shade. I'm doing a first impression just on this palette because that shade, my hand's damp to be fair, so. Look at that. Holy crap. Literally, this palette, like the swatches I've done, the instant touch of these eyeshadows are so soft, so creamy. And I also got this, which is the Technic Color Fix Contour Palette. Now, I don't know whether I'm actually going to like this looking at the colours because it doesn't look like it does on the website, um, which can sometimes happen um, because of the lighting of the picture or whatever. But it just, I know I'm fair, but this just looks way too light for me. Let's just give it a go. Like, these two I don't know no I won't be able to use this oh what a shame it's too cool tone believe it or not and too ashy and I don't really like ashy contour products that is such a shame um that's gonna have to be given to someone I could test it just for the perks of a video but I won't be able to keep that in my collection because it's just not for me so I'm gonna have to, I think I'm just gonna have to stick to Revolution Contour Pressed Powder Palettes because they have the right shades. But I just find these are way too light and ashy for me. And actually all these shades just look the same. There's not much difference. So fortunately that has not worked, but I'm still on a high from this palette, so I don't really mind. Such a long time and it's the Technic Smooth It Smoothing and Smoothing Smoothing Face Primer. It's literally like a frosted glass jar. And it's really nice packaging. And it's got a label on, of course. Like, I wasn't even planning on getting myself any more makeup. I always say that, but I always do. And then Libby showed me this website. I was like, oh, my days. You can get things so much cheaper. So it's like a primer balm. I've never tried a primer balm, so I can't judge whether I like them or not. But I've wanted to try this for so long. And Amazon always have it for quite expensive or as an add-on item. And I don't really want to have it as an add-on item. So, yeah. Deep Pore Cleansing Stick contains coconut oil from W7. This deep, deep, mm, this W7 Deep Pore Cleansing Stick removes makeup impurities whilst restoring moisture to dull skin and is suitable for all skin types. Mm. Screw off. Okay, so it's got a... Um... So that's what the balm looks like. And you just twist the bottom to get the rest out. So I just want to try more stick products and if it helps clear my pores, I'm really all for that because i've been getting so many breakouts recently and i'm just trying to sort out my skincare routine because i think it's something to do with my skincare so you know it may or may not work but i'm really excited to try that i've got this w7 a roll absent without lipstick lip color remover now i've never heard of a lip color remover whether this works or not is another matter completely however i'm open-minded to the possibility that it could work so what it looks like i love the packaging and then let's see what it looks like it's literally like a pink is it meant to sting 
It smells like my normal lip balm actually. But whether that is meant to sting, I don't know. So I'm actually quite glad I swatched that first. I'll leave it on my hand and see what happens. But I don't actually know now whether I will be putting this on my lips if it carries on stinging. But that's that. The base products. So I got the Save by the Gel Super Gel Concealer. Um, and this is in the shade Fair. It looks pretty dark to me. Oh, just my luck. I love trying new concealers. That is a very different applicator to what I'm used to. That is way too dark. Are you joking? How is that fair? Like, can you see that? It blends out nicely. I guess I'm gonna have to try it on my face before I can actually judge, but swatch wise, that, I don't know, it's not showing up on camera, but that is, it seems too dark. <sighs> I really like the idea of it because it does feel really comfortable and it's a little bit tacky as well, so. Who knows, I'll have to test that on my face. But the last W7 product is this, and this is the Legend Lasting Wear Foundation, which is such a clear dupe for the Estee Lauder Double Wear packaging, at least. Um, oh, and literally the same, because it doesn't have a pump. Oh, okay. Um, shake well before use. W7 foundation, Legend Foundation is super lightweight and lasts all day. Apply as required. Um, and this is in the shade Buff, which is, I believe, their lightest shade. Um... And I love the packaging. It's frosted glass. It's really luxe. And it was so cheap. It was under a fibre. Um, and you get 28 ml product, which is a hefty amount. Um, it is quite heavy duty, so it's not necessarily travel friendly. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to try that. Some of these products are amazing, like the eyeshadow palettes um, and the pour off, the clean off stick. Um, but this concealer just looks way too dark. Like you look at the different, like, do you see the difference in that? And then lastly, I also got the Technique Primer Spray because I've also wanted this for ages, but on Amazon it like fluctu fluctuates in price and also it's also an add-on item and it's just a bit more hassle than it's worth to buy. Um, but I love spray products, as you may or may not know, and I've always wanted to try this basically. Um, Technique Pr Caring Primer spray, spray creates a... Some, oh, I don't know because it's folded over. Even base for flawless makeup application. So, let's give it a go. Um, you get... How much product do you get? You get 31 mil of product. That's pretty decent. It's everything I got off Fragrance Direct. Some of them are serious hits and some of them are misses and potential misses. But there's only one way to find out. But I am so excited to try these two palettes on my eyeballs, especially this one. And if it is really good, I'm going to buy it as gifts for people. I'm going to be prepared for birthdays for other makeup lovers I know because this is just stunning. I am buzzing to try this. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It might have given you some very last minute inspiration for Christmas presents if you've got like Amazon Prime or anything like that. Um, or any websites you know of but I, that would deliver very quickly before Christmas. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you think of the products in the comments below and any other affordable makeup items from either Technic um, that you'd recommend um, because I'd be very interested for that. Although I'm on like a spending ban till the end of January, potentially longer. Whether that will last or not is another matter completely. But don't forget to smash a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. Um, there are so many Christmas content videos coming your way and I'm so, so excited for them. So yeah, I've got so much editing to do. I'm killed now. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next vlog or video, whichever one you watch first. Bye.